In this video, I will show you how to find the central angle given the arc length and the radius. For this problem, we are told that the radius of the circle is 7 inches and the arc length from A to B is 16 inches. We are being asked to find the arc measure of AB, but that's the same thing as the central angle, which I am going to call theta. I know a couple different ways to solve this problem, but for this video, I'm going to think of arc length as a fraction of the circumference. This makes sense because the circumference is the length of the entire circle, if it were made out of string, and then the arc length is a piece of that string. So the arc length is a fraction of the circumference. I'm going to call the arc length L, so I can sort of make a formula out of this thought. So the arc length L is a fraction. What fraction? The fraction is theta over 360, the partial degrees divided by the total number of degrees in any circle. So we have the arc length is a fraction of the circumference, and the formula for circumference is 2 pi r. So again, this formula basically says the arc length is a fraction of the circumference. All we have to do is fill in the two things that we know. We know that the arc length is 16, so we can put 16 in for L. We're looking for the central angle theta, so I'm going to leave theta over 360. And we are given that the radius is 7 inches, so that's 2 pi 7. Of course, 2 times 7 is 14, so let's just write this as 14 pi. Our goal is to get theta by itself. Let's get rid of the denominator by multiplying both sides of the equation by 360. If I multiply by 360 on the left and on the right, on the right hand side, the 360 cancels out. So this is gone. 360 times 16 turns out to be 5,760. To get theta by itself, we just need to divide both sides by 14 pi. That leaves theta by itself, so this is one version of the answer. Theta equals 5,760 over 14 pi degrees. Make sure you include these units. It will be a little bit more meaningful if we write this in decimal form. So remember, we're going to do 5,760 over 14 pi. If you are comfortable with the fraction button, I really recommend using that. So we have 5,760 over 14 pi. Kabam, 130.962. So that is the final answer. Let me point out one other thing. Some students like to type this in without using the fraction button, but be careful. If you type 5,760 divided by 14 pi, notice that you get the wrong answer. So if you're not going to use a proper fraction, you can still do it, but you have to use parentheses. So you have to type 5,760 divided by, and then you need to put the 14 pi in parentheses like this. Now you're going to get the right answer. 